Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. As the description says, this is the easiest, fastest, cheapest, <laughs> that's a word he made up, cheapest, quickest upgrade you can do on a Peterbilt 389. And it actually makes a huge visible difference. Um, the folks at Firewire have a excellent, excellent headlight replacement light. And that's what we're doing today, right? Yep, we're swapping out the low beam, high beams with LEDs from Firewire. Um, the kit's actually for sale on our website, yep. semicasualshow.com. You can get the whole kit, it's like 230 bucks, and drastically makes a huge difference in just the visibility of driving at night. And we've heard so many people talk about how they wish the headlights were just brighter and worked better. And we thought, you know, we need to make a video and how many people don't know about this? You know, that, yeah, and that's, uh, like Brian said, we get, we get a lot of people who talk about uh, doing a headlight replacement on their 389. And the best part about this is it's not a full headlight replacement. You just do the headlamp bulb mm -hmm. and it makes a big difference. And if you've, got a, if you've got a 389 with stock headlights, this is a upgrade that you guys can do. It's like the only way to go. It really is. It's, it's, it's the way to go. We're going to flip the camera around, we're going to show you all this stuff, and then we're going to go uh, put them on this little beauty right here, that uh -huh. guy. And uh, it's dark outside, we're going to take you outside and <clears throat> show you how good they work. Yeah, we're making this video in the middle of the night just for you guys. All right, you ready? Yeah, let's, let's do this. Do it. <laughs> all right, so this is the truck we're putting the, uh, the headlights on. And like we were saying, we're going to flip the camera around here and show you those real quick. Uh, the reason this is so easy is you just take these two little screws out, this plate comes off put two headlight bulbs in there, plug them in, put that plate back on, and you're ready to go. So over here, we've got our Firewire LED headlights. The F11s are your low beams, the 905s are your high beams. The tools you're gonna need is a screwdriver and ICs. Very important if you like taking your lights in and out because putting these on the bolts in those housings right there will make your life much easier later on if you have to ever get to the bulbs. Yeah, I don't know if you guys have researched a whole lot of uh, putting stainless steel bolts into an aluminum housing, but yeah, if you don't use anises, it's a real pain in the butt to get it back out the second time. Yes, it is. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's definitely a good idea to do. Yep. One handed here with the camera. There we go. So these are the bulbs. The thing is pretty cool about these two. Uh, the built-in fan keeps them, they're LED bulbs, so uh, they, this section here tends to get a little bit warm. So these have built-in fans, keeps it cool. And you've got your two side LED lights. And it has a plug that plugs right into the factory plug on the Peterbilt. And one thing about it is you cannot get it wrong once you're going into the housing nope. because the, um, the holes are about the same size, but the way they mount into the hole, as you can see, is very different. So whenever it plugs in, you, you push it in and you twist, and that's how it locks in. Yep. This one won't fit in this one's hole, and this one won't fit in this one's hole. So it's pretty simple and easy, and you're not going to mess it up. No, you can't. And again, the 905s are your high beams, uh, and the F11s are your low beams. So now all we're going to do is uh, take the thing off. Yeah, we're going to screw some stuff up. Or <laughs> out. <laughs> or out. <laughs> okay. Headlights are in, and again, these are just, they, they unscrew and screw right back in, just like the factory bulbs do, and they plug in. One thing I will note on these plugs, like this one right here, you can plug them in backwards. Like there's a, um, there's a lock on both sides of the plug, so you gotta make sure that you plug them in correctly. Uh, if you do this at home and you're like, oh, my lights aren't turning on, flip the plug around, probably all it is. And uh, other than that, this black rubber piece that usually covers up the, uh, the factory bulb, you're gonna wanna just trim a circle around there and give this thing some room um, so that when this goes on, this, this keeps a lot of trash from getting inside that projector housing right there. So uh, if you can 
if you can trim that rubber piece and just let the fan stick out the backside, probably is going to work the best long term for you that way. And then all we got to do is uh, put the cover on. I have the cover. <laughs> nice. <laughs> just waiting on you to stop talking. Well, that'll take a while. <laughs> it usually does. <laughs> <laughs> we should probably make sure they turn on. We should. Let's do a, a quick dry run. We should also pull it outside and show a side-by-side -side comparison. Yep. This is the Firewire lights. This is the factory stock headlights. Yep. We should do that. We so, definitely should. First. Let's make sure they work. Make sure they work. Step back here. All right. Ready? Yep. Okay. We have headlights. Those are low beams. You can, in here, like if you come back here right now, you can already, there's a big difference. Uh, go to high beam. Oh yeah. Uh, like a really big difference. <laughs> so, uh, all right, we know they work. So now we're gonna pull this thing outside. Wow. Holy smokes, you're not kidding. Yeah. Dang. It's, it's more than twice as bright. I'll get the door roll back the truck out. All right. All right, so right away, you can already tell clearly that uh, your driver's side light is brighter than the passenger side light, for sure. Very, very much so. Yeah, I was curious about doing this test, and I was thinking, like, man, I hope it, like, I hope it really stands out. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty obvious and blatant. Yep. So now what we're going to do is we're going to walk this way. And we've got the cardboard here and we're going to cover up. Let's start with the, let's do, let's start with, let's cover this side up. All right. And show the factory light. So this is the factory headlight. And then now go cover up. It's, sub it's substantially brighter. That's a pretty huge difference. Oh yeah. And then do it again. That's a pretty big difference. Yeah. And that's on low beams. So now... I mean, just that right there shows there's the low beam light, and then there's... The low beam light. With the other low beam light, with the Firewire low beam light. Yeah, yeah that's, that's pretty big. That's a big difference. Hey, Brandon, you flip on the high beams now? Hit the high beams, buddy. There we go. So now we're on high beams. All right. Without Firewire. Factory, factory high beams right there. Firewire. Yeah. yeah, go jump the other side. Yeah, I don't even know that you would notice the difference, would you? The one light is so dang blindingly. It's. A, I mean, you can bright. see it a little bit. Now imagine when we get two of these firewire lights installed. Yeah. I mean, if if I cover this one up right now, that's your factory headlight. High beam. High beam. Now that's your. LED firewire high beam. And this one's off. I mean, that's a substantial difference. It's pretty huge. I can already tell you that the throw of this is a lot further just by how much it's on the building. Yeah. Like, see how much higher it is up on the building, the light? And then if I switch it over here. Yeah, it's going to go way further out. Oh, yeah. You'll be able to see much better. Now, what we should do is go put the other side in. And uh, and then go put it out on the road. Yeah. Look out the window. You know, from the driver's seat. From the driver's seat. Let's do this. All right. Headlights are installed on both sides. And now we're going to go give it the real world test, right? Yep. Going to go give her the, the look and see test. Or do you want that on? I'm good for now. Okay. Unless you just feel like it helps with the video. I don't know. We'll see. And how pretty this dash is. It, the, the dash does look awesome. I like this color a lot too. I do too. Yeah. <laughs> The moon's freaking bright tonight. Very. Got a headlight flashing back at us in the sky. I, 
have a feeling we're gonna start doing these on probably all the trucks for now it's, on. Yeah, well, I mean, it's again, worth the money to do it. Bang for your buck, you really cannot go wrong. It is, uh, we're on high beams now? Yep. Yeah. High beam lights. There's a difference. Low, beam, Low beams. High, high beams. beams. That tree just disappears. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's super cool. Especially if you run a lot of like nighttime, like out in the country or out west and just big open spaces. And it'd be really nice to have back road stuff. I've heard complain that the, the headlights just aren't bright enough. I'd say this fixed that problem real quick. No, it, it does, and it's it's cost effective. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Um, headlights are they're worth every penny. Very significantly brighter than the factory headlights. Highly recommended, and you can get them on our website. Yeah semicasualshow.com they're mm -hmm. like 230 bucks or something like that yeah so let us know in the comments what you guys think are you going to try these out on your 389 or not uh or have you already do you have, have a you different already? brand if you there, there's other brands that you can get out there but i like the fire wire ones because the warranty is really good and their quality's there um but they have built-in fans you don't have any of that mess and don't have to worry about them overheating and shutting off, off. Yeah, um, we've, we've only done a couple of uh, installs on Firewire products, and so far we really like them. We've only done one other on headlight high beams, or, you know, as far as as far as far those go. <laughs> found you a net. So as far as the, the replacement bulbs go, we've only done the high beam side replacements so far on one other truck. We think it's going to be super high quality, and we think they're going to last a long time because the other Firewire products we've installed was the Underglow kit, mm -hmm. uh, like on Mitchell Bottomley's truck. And, and they so were great. Far, and we put yeah. them on uh, Bill's trailer. Yep. So all their products work awesome. I think these headlights will work super great too. So far, every Firewire product we've put on, we're happy to report, is still working and have had zero troubles out of it. And we're so not paid. They didn't quality. give us money to tell you this. Like, there's no sponsorship here. This is literally we like them promise we're not trying to sell you junk yeah we don't we don't really have any paid sponsorships anywhere no we don't no there's a really good reason for that because then we can do what we want <laughs> we like high quality yeah and we don't need them <laughs> so anyway guys you know what you got to do oh yeah you know you have to like subscribe find us on instagram at semi-casual show yeah wow that's weird <laughs> you gotta get on our website and, and order you some lights yeah order you some lights uh we've got the the hidden hood latch kits is up yeah we have the def tank relocation brackets are up yep uh there's i've just, got some more stuff going on there next week too yeah. we got some new bumper brackets we're putting up there too so yep there's quite a bit of stuff that we're putting on the website kind and of piece by piece every day and we want to make and yeah. shirts and stuff too we want to make sure that we do videos on everything we put on there instead of just uploading everything we offer just so that way you guys can see the products and have install videos and everything for everything we put on the website. But yep. that's about it, and that's all we got. Check out the merch, and we'll see you guys next time. Later.